Good morning, everyone. I'm Kim Blum, your president and CEO of the Greater Bernie Chamber of Commerce. I'm pleased to welcome Mayor Tim Handren and CEO of Santicos with us this morning. Good morning. As you know, Mayor Handren has been doing several videos every day, and today I wanted to bring him in and talk to him a little bit more about what we can do for our small business community and what he's doing at Santicos, not only as a CEO of Santicos, but uh, put that hat on and let's see what he has to share with us. Um, and so he's here representing that today. Mayor cool. Yep. So Bye. tell us a little bit about what some of the small businesses can do right now and kind of you as a, a business leader, what you're doing with some of your business uh, techniques and calls for action as a leader in your organization. Glad to do that. Yeah, uh, some of you may know that I run Santicos and uh, this past week I had to put almost 700 people home because we had to shut down our theaters. But, but I also have another part of that business which is the real estate side of that business and I have over 100 tenants. You know, it's, it's terrible, it's tragedy what's happening to folks that are having to shut their doors. We're sitting in front of a door right here where you can see the clothes sign. And normally these guys would be open. And uh, what we started doing last week in Santicos, we have four different shopping centers where we have all of our tenants. We started last week giving them every single one of them a call starting last Monday because we saw what was coming and said, we want to help you figure out how you're going to survive this storm. We know you're about to lose 100% of your revenue. We know you're not going to be able to pay rent. And, you know, over 50% of our 100 plus tenants are in that situation right now. Where we know they aren't going to have any revenue for, the, for at least two to six weeks is what we're guessing for all of us, especially for the restaurant types. So what we're doing is we're, we're, we're trying to be compassionate they're not in this situation because they're bad business people. Right. And it wasn't because they made terrible decisions, it's because of what happened to all of us, right? right. And so we recognize that, and I think we have to be responsible in this. As, as landlords, we have to be responsible right now. Yeah. And to continue to demand people to pay their rent is absurd, in my opinion. Uh, in fact, it's unreasonable and it's, it shows a complete lack of compassion. And I don't want to be that kind of a landlord. And so we're working out arrangements with all of our tenants, and we're giving them two months wow. to to say, we'll, we'll say, don't pay your rent for two months, and let's figure this out together. And we know you're not gonna run away from us because if we say you have to pay your rent and you can't, all you're gonna do is move out at midnight. We know what that means. Um, so what we're trying to do is set a model uh, for how, to, how you should treat your tenants throughout this exercise. And I'm, and I'm really hopeful that people in Bernie who have the land, the landlords, and they have their tenants, I hope they can demonstrate that, that we are Bernie strong and then you can actually do that and be smart and keep people inside their, their buildings so that they can try to recover from this after it's all said and done. Thank you. Thank you for that because I think it's so important. Um, as the Chamber continues to work to educate, advocate, and connect our business leaders and our community, it's so important to have that message and say, hey, small businesses and landowners and just community in general, we're together in this. Um, where I'm hearing so many amazing stories left and right where they don't want the press, but they're doing the right thing because right. they have a heart and compassion. Um, and so I compel everyone to kind of just think outside the box and just take a moment to think, how is that person feeling? If I were in their shoes right now, what could I do to help bring some joy and peace and just a little, show a little grace and all honesty? So um, any other advice? Yeah, I've, I've, like you, I've seen some great things happen right. in this community. and. Again, that's why we're Bernie Strong. Okay. We are a great community. We come together. Um, and, and this event maybe has brought us together more tightly than we've ever had to be in the past. You know, on the Santico side, um, I've got zero revenue coming in in the movie business. We went from, you know, almost $100 million a year to nothing in, in, a, in a split second. Mm -hmm. And what I'm having to figure out there is how do I keep that business from going under? while I have zero revenue, we, we, we did send our employees home. We paid them for two weeks and we wanted to make sure they had benefits coverage through the end of April. But what I'm having to do now with my finance team and all of our other uh, folks uh, through supply chain management, we are contacting every single person that we have to pay money to, a vendor or a utility, and we are having a conversation with them. And we're telling them, we don't want to not pay our bills, but we have a cash flow problem. We got no money coming in, and if all goes out right now, I don't know if I can make it. And I want to take care of my employees, I want to continue to pay some of them, as many of them as I can possibly pay. 
So we are working out all kinds of arrangements with all of our supply chain, and they are being incredibly open-minded about this. But you gotta reach out to them, you gotta have a personal phone call, and say, it's not that I don't wanna pay you, I just need to pay you a little later. Yeah. Um, and I think, I think if folks could do that, you might find that there's a lot more heart and, and soul in what's going on, because everybody's going through this. Well, and it's the same thing for the chamber, for example. We're membership-based and we're nonprofit. But at the end of the day, it's just being there for the members, whether it's physically or personally, just showing up and buying meals or doing different things or sharing on social media or creating that landing page where we can get the message out. But when it comes down to it, it's really also important to say, hey, just make that phone call. We personally as a chamber, we have over 800 members and our team is on the phone every day calling every single member to say, what do you need? Whether it's a connection, I need you to call HEB or I have a supplier. Um, Kalani Yogurt is a great example. She called me and said, I just love our community and our people. I, I don't know what I can do, but I'm gonna start selling groceries and it'll keep my staff employed, but it also helps the people of Bernie. And to me, that's just incredible. That's what it's about. You have to just innovate and think outside the box a little bit. But like we said earlier, just have a little compassion and communication. Kim, you've been great through this whole thing. I know you've been communicating every day with 31 of your members. I know you've been doing an awesome job. You've put them all in touch with the Small Business Loan Program that's coming out as a result of this whole corona thing that we're dealing with. And you know, I like to, I keep saying Bernie Strong every chance I get. I hope when this is all said and done that maybe, just like New York has that I love New York t-shirt, yeah. maybe we're gonna come out of this with a t-shirt that every one of our merchandisers carries that says Bernie Strong. I love it. That would be just kind of cool outcome of this. I'm on it, wait for it. <laughs> I love it, I do. Well, Mayor Tim Andrin, thank you so much just for your energy and compassion and leadership for our community. We truly respect you as the chamber and just appreciate the partnership. And thanks for taking time this morning. I know you're busy, but just to share with our small business community and our, our landowners and everyone out there that what they can do to help support local. Thank you very much. I love Bernie. We're Bernie Strong. Bernie Strong.